Hi, this is Asin. You are now watching Asin Math TV. Today, we would like to share the MacRolin series of log 1 plus tangent x, where we differentiate log 1 plus tangent x to the base 10. Differentiating log, we obtain the reciprocal, so we have 1 plus tangent x, and the base is 10, so we have log 10 here. Differentiate tangent, we obtain secant squared x. Instead of differentiating this complicated function by using either the product rule or the quotient rule, we can actually let fx be equal to the numerator secant squared x and gx be equal to 1 plus tangent x. And we just have to differentiate these two functions. At point x equal to 0, secant 0 is equal to 1. So 1 squared is also 1. And for g0, 1 plus 0 is also equal to 1. Before we differentiate the function f, we can actually apply their identity so that we don't have to apply multiple times of product rule for each derivative. So we should take 1 plus tangent squared x. Differentiate function f with respect to x. Differentiate 1, we obtain 0. Differentiate tangent squared x. Power bring down 2 and power loss 1. Differentiate tangent, we obtain secant squared x. Again, apply the identity. So we have 2 tangent x times 1 plus tangent squared x. And we obtain 2 tangent x plus 2 tangent cubed x. Since both also tangent functions, so which means that at point 0, we obtain 0. Now, let's differentiate the function g with respect to x as well. Differentiate 1, we obtain 0. Differentiate tangent x, we obtain secant squared x. As we can see, the derivative of the function g is actually the, the shift in the derivative of the function f, which means that for the n plus 1 derivative of the function g is actually the n derivative of the function f for n equal to 0, 1, 2, and so on. Which means that we just have to differentiate the function f is enough. Let's differentiate for the second time for the function f. Differentiate 2 tangent x, we obtain 2 secant squared x. Differentiate 2 tangent cubed x, power bring down times the constant becomes 6 and power loss 1, 2. Secant squared x. Again, apply the identity, we should have 2 times 1 plus tangent squared x. So we obtain 2 plus 2 tangent squared x plus 6 tangent squared x plus 6 tangent to the power of 4x. At point x equal to 0, we obtain 2 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0, which is equal to 2. And now we can see that we have two terms with tangent squared x. We can group them. So which means that this can be grouped, combined as 8 tangent squared x. And now we can differentiate for the third time. Differentiate constant again 0. Differentiate 8 tangent squared x. 2 times 8, 16. Power loss 1. Differentiate tangent secant squared x. 4, 6, 24. Power loss 1, 3. Secant squared x. Again, apply the identity, so we have 16 tangent x plus 16 tangent to the power of 3x plus 24 tangent cube x plus 24 tangent to the power of 5x. At point x equal to 0, we obtain 0 since all in terms of tangent. Now, let's combine again. So we have 16 tangent cube x plus 24 tangent cube x. And we should obtain 40 tangent cube x. And now differentiate for the fourth time. 
Differentiate 16 tangent we obtain 16 secant squared x. Differentiate 40 tangent cube x we will obtain 120 tangent squared x times secant squared x plus 24 times 5 120 tangent power loss 1 so 4 x secant squared x at point x equal to 0 since this is with tangent this is also with tangent so we can ignore these two terms since this will give us 0 and we just have to determine the value for this so 16 times 1 is equal to 16 since we already obtained 1, 2 and 3 non-zero terms. So I'm not going to apply identity anymore because I'm not going to differentiate further. And now we can actually form the Merlin series for the function f and for the function g. The function f is equal to secant squared x. And what we have here is this is the original function this is order 0 so we have 1 over 0 factorial so we can simply take the value 1 and we plus this is the second derivative so we have 2 over 2 factorial x to the power of 2 and we plus this is the fourth derivative so which means that we have 16 over 4 factorial x to the power of 4 and so on and for the function g which is equal to 1 plus tangent x and we know that the function g is actually the shift of the function f so what we have to do here is check which number should we start from we should start from n is equal to 0 which is here and we should plus 1 this is non-zero so we should take the value before that consider g 0 as well so we should plus 1 and plus this is value 1 is supposed to be 0 order but g should be 1 order higher than f so we should have 1 plus so we have 1 factorial x to the power of 1 and next we have 2 over this supposed to be the second derivative but we need to plus 1 so become third derivative x to the power of 3 and we plus this is a fourth plus 1 become fifth so we have 16 over 5 factorial x to the power of 5 and so on now we can calculate the value for the function f we have 1 plus 2 over 2 is equal to 1 so x squared and we plus 16 over 24 which is 2 over 3 x to the power of 4 and so on and for the function g we have 1 plus x plus 2 over 6 which is 1 over 3 x to the power of 3 plus 16 over 120 we can check if let's say we are not sure we can use 5 factorial instead of 120 and we should obtain 2 over 15 x to the power of 5 and so on since we have obtained the series expansions for the two functions and what we need here is secant squared x over 1 plus tangent x which means that we should apply long division so we have 1 plus 0x plus x squared plus 0x cubed plus 2 over 3x to the power 4 the whole thing divided by 1 plus x plus 1 over 3x cubed plus 2 over 15 x to the power of 5 the rule of thumb of applying long division is always reduce the first term to 0 in order to have 0 we should minus exactly the same term which is 1 so we times 1 here and for the rest of the terms we have plus x plus 1 over 3 x cubed plus 2 over 15 x to the power of 5 we always take the first line minus the second line so which means that we have minus x plus x squared minus 1 over 3 x cubed plus 2 over 3 x power 4 minus 2 over 15 x power 5 next again reduce the first term to 0 so which means that we should have minus x 
So we times minus x, and for the rest of the terms, we have minus x squared minus 1 over 3x to the power of 4. And we don't have to take minus x times plus 2 over 15x to the power of 5, since we will obtain a term with x to the power of 6. We just want a few non-zero terms for series expansion is enough. Let's minus, so plus 1 minus negative 1. So plus 1 plus 1 plus 2. So we have 2x squared minus 1 over 3x cubed plus 2 over 3 minus negative. So which means that plus, and we should obtain x to the power of 4 minus 2 over 15x to the power of 5. Let's continue again, reduce the first term to 0. So we need 2x squared. So we plus 2x squared. And for the rest of the term, we have plus 2x cubed and we plus 2 over 3x to the power of 5. Let's minus and we should obtain negative 1 over 3 minus 2 and we obtain negative 7 over 3x cubed plus x to the power of 4 negative 2 over 15 minus 2 over 3 and we obtain negative 4 over 5 x to the power of 5. So again, reduce to 0, we need negative 7 over 3 x to the power of 3. So we have minus 7 over 3 x to the power of 3. And here is minus 7 over 3 x to the power of 4. And let's say we feel that 4 non-zero terms is enough for our series expansion, then basically we can stop here. Unless the question requested further, then we have to minus and obtain further. Otherwise, we can stop here. And let's say we want to have five non-zero terms, then we just have to continue for one more term. So which means that we should have one, minus negative 7 over 3 which is equal to plus 10 over 3x to the power 4 so which means that the next term we should have is plus 10 over 3x to the power of 4 and so on recall that when we differentiate log 1 plus tangent x to the base 10, we should obtain 1 over ln 10 times secant squared x over 1 plus tangent x, which means that we have 1 minus x plus 2x squared minus 7 over 3x cubed plus 10 over 3x to the power 4 and so on. All we have to do here is integrate both sides with respect to x. Integrate, differentiate, cancel each other. Differentiate x, cancel, differentiate x. So we left log 1 plus tangent x to the base 10 is equal to 1 over ln 10. Integrate 1, we obtain x. Integrate x, we obtain power plus 1 over power plus 1, which means that we have 1 over 2x squared. Integrate we have power plus 1 over power plus 1 minus 7 over 3 power plus 1 over power plus 1 plus 10 over 3 power plus 1 over power plus 1 and so on. So which means that the series expansion is equal to 1 over ln 10 times x minus 1 over 2x squared plus 2 over 3x cubed minus 7 over 12x to the power of 4 plus 2 over 3x to the power of 5 and so on and hence with that. Okay, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this. See you.